Your performance today was decided long before you set foot in the gym. And most of us never even realized that. Because one of the biggest factors in how sharp you are or how fast you react and how well you read the fight has nothing to do with conditioning or toughness. It has to do with cognitive load, which is the quiet mental clutter that sits between you and your best decisions. You see, your brain only has so much working memory. And once it fills up, performance drops. This is neuroscience. Cognitive load theory has shown for decades that when working memory is overloaded, reaction time slows, decision quality declines, and perceptual accuracy, it gets worse. A study by Nili Levy shows that when cognitive load increases, perceptual processing slows and selective attention weakens. So in other words, when your mind is cluttered, you literally see less. You react slower. You miss cues that you would normally catch. And one thing to remember is that cognitive load doesn't come from the training itself. It comes from everything that happens before you even warm up. So all the tiny worries that hit your brain before you step onto the mats. Did I breathe my mouth guard? What time is that meeting again? Ah, oh, shoot, did I pack the belt for my gi? Is my rash guard dry? Do I have time to stop for gas after training? Did I remember my shampoo? These are tiny everyday worries, but they stack up. Research on pre-performance routines shows that these micro stressors, they raise arousal, they narrow attention and make it harder to access automaticity, which is the state where everything feels calm and sharp and in flow. And as Dr. Sue Jackson puts it, when everything is in place before you compete, you feel ready you know what you're going to do, and it becomes easier to switch into that automatic side of flow. And that's the state fighters spend years trying to train into their minds and bodies. And this is a part that almost nobody talks about. Most fighters train speed, but not the thing that controls speed. They train reactions, but not the cognitive space that reactions need. They prepare their body, but they ignore the bandwidth that their mind relies on. You see, clarity is not a luxury, it's a weapon. And the cleaner your preparation system is, the more bandwidth you protect for the things that actually matter.